You'll see that I've installed the tail blades. Um, I've got the servo installed. Um, I like to use the round servo control horn um, with the ball somewhere around them. Seven and a half millimeters from the center. I didn't use the outside um, row of, of uh, the hose, but the inside. Um, I've got it adjusted, I think, kind of where I want it to be here. I left a little bit of room here so that um, I can move it in a little closer if I need to, and yet still be able to move it that way without having, I, don't, I won't have to keep disconnecting this control rod to, to make those changes, but uh, it's better if I have to move it in here. Further out this way just changes the uh, balance a little bit, so that's something else that you have to deal with. Okay, I've got the, the battery connected, and I'm checking the direction of the servo. When I move my rudder to the left, I'll, that should go out. When I move it to the right, it should go in towards the boom. So this is the wrong direction. Now, normally you would think to go into the transmitter here to reverse that servo direction, but I've already, you know, established using the software that my radio transmitter is configured correctly. So what that means is I need to go into the software and reverse the direction of that servo. So I'll do that in a, just a minute. But one other thing I just noticed was that when I do some, when I do move the rudder servo here, you'll see that that um, this push rod is moving around because these control, I mean these push rod guides that come with the Black Angel. They don't have the screws that let you tighten and clamp them down. So uh, they're actually moving around so that the, they let the uh, little thin, you know, push rod here, and it lets it bend. So what I want to do, I've done this on my other one, is put a little piece of tape um, on the, around the boom here and slide these little um, guides up onto that tape uh, so that um, they don't move around. I could use double-sided, you know, scotch tape or something like that. It's got to be thin because, you know, there's not that much gap. It's just because it's not clamped down. And I do have some some um, little push rod guides, you know, from another kit that I could use. That the metal ones that have the clamp, the screws, so that you can clamp them down. But um, for the sake of this field, I'm just, I just want to keep it stock up until the rotor blades anyway. Um, and so I'm going to use these just because that's what comes with the kit. And I want to show the kit helicopter. So there you have it. So that's what I'll do. I'll put a little piece of tape here, put a little piece, piece of tape around here. Just so that these don't move around so freely. One other thing I'd like to mention while I've got it here in front of the camera, is that uh, when you're, you know, installing the tail, uh, yeah, you should be able to see that on the uh, Black Angel, the tail blades are held in place by like a two millimeter by six or eight screw with a nut, two millimeter nut on the back. The screw does not um, tap into the blade holder like it does on uh, others. So, uh, you know, it takes a two millimeter screw, machine screw with a, with a nut on the end. So, you, you know, you make sure you use thread lock on that and that. Uh, one other thing while you're working on it, um, make sure that you um, put thread lock on the little grub screw that holds this tail uh, blade holders on the shaft. If you, it, very rarely comes with, um, you know, thread lock already in place. So what you want to do is make sure you put thread lock on that grub screw. Just take it off, put it, and you should be doing that on all of these anyway. Even, you know, I showed you 
earlier that with I put thread lock on all of these screws on the frame, but I did that too on the tail case. I took every single little screw out, put a little thread lock, and put it back. But in in particular, very important is that grub screw because I have had one that I didn't do that. I didn't think about it. Didn't think it was important. I didn't do it. The grub screw fell off while it was in the air, and when the, when the, that grub screw is not there, that shaft, the the tail rotor can fly off. It did fly off the end of the shaft. It didn't disappear. It just fell off and held, stayed in place. But without that grub screw there, that shaft just spins. And with no, a helicopter with no tail rotor at all, is a, well, it spins wicked. So watch out for that. Just make sure you do that um, grub screw. Okay, what I'm doing now is going to the um, tail setup to reverse the um, rudder direction because we just um, we were just doing that and we've determined that it's going in the wrong direction so I just did that and that's it that's all there is to it I've just come back from uh, reversing the uh, servo using the CopterX software so that when I go to the left with the rudder, it goes out. When I go to the right with the rudder, it goes in. But if you notice when I go in, it goes to the boom. That's what I want. But when I go to the left, it doesn't go all the way. That's because I haven't set the limits yet within the gyro. Um, what the limits do is they prevent the um, servo from overextending and trying to move this um, pitch slider more than possible because if your limits are not set and that gy um, gyro is telling the uh, servo to keep, keep going, keep going and it can't, it burns up the servo. So, what I need to do is go back over to the software again, and I'm going to adjust the limits um, so that uh, when I do left and right, that pitch slider just barely touches um, the, the ends of the shaft where, where it can. Okay, I've connected to the um, gyro again. Um, what I'm going to do now is go over to the tail servo setup area and I'm going to adjust the limits of the uh, pitch slider. these. I have the helicopter connected to the computer now and I've just gone over a couple of times making adjustments to the um, slider, uh, you know, to the uh, servo limits. 
so that uh, now when I go to the left it just it goes a little further and I don't hear the servo buzzing like it's uh, binding up I want to go all the way to the right it I can see that it touches the edge um, almost at about 75 percent so I could probably reduce it a little more maybe one more point. 